Hi everyone, welcome back to another Beyblade Burst Rise Hypersphere unboxing. Uh, today we're opening up a double pack. Uh, so uh, this uh, includes an Ogre D5, which is a Hasbro exclusive bay, and Rock Dragon D5, so an alternate layer um, bay to, to Ace Dragon. And uh, we'll start off by uh, going over the back here and having a read of our listed contents. Uh, let's read out the left hand side to begin with. So we've got um, our uh, dragon chip, uh, which is a right spinning chip, our layer, the rock layer, uh, our forge disc. Uh, we'll go over the forge disc uh, when we open it up, as well as the performance tip and uh, our stat, which is telling us we've got two to run time and four to drop in rate. Uh, so not much stamina, but a fair bit of movement. Then on the right, uh, we've got our layer, which uh, is not a two-piece layer, so no chip there. Um, right spinning layer, uh, our forge disc, and our performance tip. Um, then uh, its stat is four to run time and two to drop in rate, so uh, complete opposite of uh, Rock Dragon. Uh, so good amount of run time, not much movement, and uh, uh, that's it for the packaging. Uh, so we'll get him opened up, uh, have a proper look at everything, um, check out how strong those slopes are. Uh, I'll put up the QR codes and we'll finish everything off with a test launch in the stadium. All right, that's everything out of our packaging, and we'll start things off with Rock Dragon and then do Ogre next. All right, well, here's our layer of Rock Dragon, and uh, uh, as I've mentioned a few times while doing these unboxing, Beyblade Burst Rise unboxings uh, from Hasbro, um, there is no metal incorporated into these uh, bays. Uh, what looks like a metal... Uh, removable weight system is actually plastic and part of the mold uh, if I pop that chip out uh, as you can see that centerpiece comes with it um, just giving the illusion that it is a removable weight system I'll pop that back on I do have the Takira Tomi one handy uh, just to show you the difference between the two uh, so we'll pop his chip out and uh, that centerpiece stays because it is part of that uh, metal weight. I'll put it back together and uh, we'll do a small side by side with the two so we can have a look at the color difference. Uh, so uh, Hasbro uh, tend to leave a little bit of the coloring out to uh, differ themselves from the TT ones. Uh, so as you can see, a bit of gold uh, um, missing here and uh, on these two spots. Um, but uh, with the layer itself, uh, they are, uh, I would say, uh, identical to each other. So uh, they haven't uh, made any difference between those two. Um, might be a slight difference to the paint that they use. But other than that, uh, they look exactly the same um, in the layer department. All right, um, put him back and uh, we'll flip over. And I'll give you an opportunity to grab that QR code. So I'll leave it there. Hopefully it's in focus enough. All right, well, there we go for that. Okay, we'll put him down and move on to uh, the forge disc. So Sting is our forge disc uh, with this one. And I have actually gone over this before with the unboxing of the Ace Dragon D5. So I'll try and make this quick and I'll leave a link at the end of this clip to that. Uh, uh, if I'm able to, I'm having a bit of trouble with my end screens lately. So I'll see what I can do. And if not, uh, you can just look it up on my channel if you like. And uh, I've got um, a TT one here uh, so we can 
uh, compare the two and a uh, significant size difference between them so uh, the Hasbro one sort of a shaved down version and obviously we don't get uh, the gimmick um, which is attached uh, to the Takira Tomy one a uh, sort of a spring loaded frame um, that's built into it and uh, we'll, we'll lose quite a bit of weight because of that uh, but uh, this does have uh, the ability to have a frame at, uh, clipped onto it so uh, a bit more customization with the Hasbro one because of that reason um, and that's that's pretty much it for him uh, so uh, we'll get a uh, charge for our performance tip for this one and uh, that's the exact same as uh, our Ace Dragon D5, just a color difference. Obviously, you don't get them mixed up with each other. And then I am going to grab my Takira Tomy one here for a last time so we can um, have a look at them together. And uh, size difference, not much at all. And that's because this is uh, one of the larger um, drivers from TT and uh, uh, very similar to each other so it has uh, all those grooves uh, just a smoothed off uh, tip on him so he can produce that um, uh, action in the hypersphere stadium that he does and uh, so uh, we'll move on to our ogre and here he is our ogre layer and sadly i do not have another version to do a comparison to um there is a turbo one out there that you can get uh, um, i never got around to purchasing it but i do know the differences between the two the first one is coloring um so uh, the turbo one has a lot of red and black involved in it um, making it look uh, more demon-ish in uh, my opinion uh, this one uh, this coloring here um, I think is a lot better because uh, it looks more like an ogre to me anyway um, there's no Takira Tomy one because it is a Hasbro exclusive bay uh, you can only speculate on what would have possibly been metal on it um, if there was and I say that would definitely be this out of frame a bit and uh, these silver um, pieces underneath um, our green here I don't know whether they would have gone metal uh, uh, towards the center um, but uh, yeah that's that's all as I said to speculation so I'm gonna flip him over and uh, give you a chance to grab that QR code and uh, we'll go to his forge disk now oh well they've given us the O forge disk with this version of ogre and uh, I'm pretty happy about that uh, is one of the heavier forge discs out there uh, it'll uh, help out with stamina and uh, give him a heavier hit when coming in contact with another bay uh, he with his turbo one he did have the one forge disc which has an all right amount of weight but um, I think this is a better change uh, especially for these rise bays which tend to be on the lighter side uh, so um, that's it for that uh, let's have a look at uh, our last performance tip and here's our performance tip for Ogre. Uh, it is uh, pretty smooth, only has a little bit of roughness to it. I am unsure of what hypersphere version of performance tip this might be. All I know it is uh, the performance tip that came with the turbo uh, Ogre was uh, a, um, a slingshot. Uh, version of um, Jaggy uh, so I do have my Jaggy here from Satoom um, so uh, this is what it looked like uh, I can't really see too many similarities between these two other than uh, these grooves here um, looking uh, sort of the same uh, so I could be uh, absolutely um, wrong in saying that this uh, might be a version of it but uh, anyway um, 
it is definitely a change uh, because uh, it was more of a tax style bay beforehand and they've gone with stamina this time uh, so that is it for our parts we're going to piece these guys together and uh, have a feel at how strong their slopes are and then lastly we're going to put them in stadium for a bit of a test launch all right rock dragon will be first up and i say it's it's going to be the same as ace dragon um i don't see why they would make it any stronger or weaker um so here we go and actually that's well wow, that actually does feel stronger i'm i'm just going to grab my grab my ace dragon real quick here and yeah that's got a bit of movement to it and uh wow <laughs> our uh rock dragon uh feels like it's got a lot uh more of a grip so yeah um there is a difference between the two and uh it seems like it's going to be a stronger bay um well definitely in in the uh burst resistance department Next up, uh, Ogre, and I'll oh, just get that forged disc in the right spot. Here we go. And, oh, okay, well, yeah, that, that's quite a bit easier uh, to get on than uh, what our uh, Rock Dragon was. Um, yeah, we get, let me just get my Ace Dragon out. Yeah, we get uh, more um, free of a movement than uh, we do with Ace Dragon. So I would put that about average, maybe below average, with uh, uh, its grip strength on those slopes. Um, geez, uh, that's, and that's, that's uh, uh, quite a bit of a difference to... Uh, what the turbo version is as far as i know that has uh, quite a decent uh grip um it's not the easiest bay in the world to burst that's for sure um but in saying that you know it comes down to actual performance so uh, what feels weak uh might be uh pretty decent when it comes uh, up against another bay uh, so let's get these guys into a stadium and Okay, uh, so we're going to do something we normally don't get to do with these uh, unboxings, uh, but because this one involved two bays, we're going to put on a little battle, just one round, uh, so this will give us a better gauge on how these perform as well. Um, launching Rock Dragon first, and three, two, one, let it rip. Oh, Good contact We're up on that outer edge there is Ogre um, settling back down and fighting it out for that survivor victory. Going to Ace Dragon for our mini uh, one round battle. Uh, so that is it for this unboxing. I hope you liked the video and until next time, enjoy the rest of your day.